there are behavioral science principles which we should uh, always uh, take into consideration before making any marketing plan and marketing strategy. So what are those uh, behavioral science principles which the marketers can use to improve their marketing messages and uh, digital creatives? Yeah, that is, that's a great question. And I'll be honest with you, behavioral scientists have documented hundreds, literally hundreds of these automatic decision defaults that people rely on. I have about 25 that are my go-tos that have worked really well for my clients or that have worked well for other clients that I follow. And so those are the ones that I talk about in my book. And um, so we're not going to go through all 25 of them here, but I'll, I'll give you three examples that um, kind of uh, you know bring this to life. So one of them is something called social proof. And what behavioral scientists have found is when people are uncertain of what decision to make, what they do is they look around, they look to see what other people are doing, particularly people like them, and they follow their lead, right? So if we're not sure what to do, we see a bunch of people doing something. We don't think they're just as lost as we are. No, we assume that they know something we don't. And so as a result, we follow them and we think that'll be a safe move. So social proof is, is one example. And we can, you know, we can use that as marketers by talking about the number of successful uh deals we've made, the number of customers we have, we can use ratings and reviews and testimonials. Those are all examples of, of uh, social proof. Another behavioral science principle that I like to recommend to clients is this idea of providing the reason why. Behavioral scientists have found that people are more likely to do what we ask them to do if we give them a reason why. And a great way to tee up that reason why is to use the word because. There's a researcher that came out of Harvard. Her name is Ellen Langer. And she identified the word because as an automatic compliance trigger. When we see or hear the word because, we just start to agree. We start to nod yes before we've even processed what comes next. We get to that word because, we just assume whatever is coming after it is a good, legitimate reason. And it just puts us in an agreeable mindset. We're already ready to say yes when we hit that word because. So the idea of providing the reason why is always really, really good. And, and the thing, Shelly, is it doesn't have to be this ironclad, bulletproof reason. You know, sign up for my product and you'll make a million dollars. That's a great reason, but very few of us can make that as a, as a promise, right? But, you know, you could just say, hey, uh, sign, up for, sign up for my product. We think you'll really enjoy it. Sign up for our product. People like you have found it very beneficial, you know, just providing that reason why. And if you use, if you use the word because, so much the better, you know, sign up for my product because you'll really enjoy it. And then the, the third and final example I'll give is something called autonomy bias. And what behavioral scientists have found is human beings have this very deep-seated, very innate need to feel in control of ourselves and our environments. And uh, so we like to express some kind of agency, some kind of control. We, we hate to be told what to do. So anytime a marketer can give a customer or a prospect a choice, that makes that customer or prospect feel like they have some control. So instead of just giving someone one option, we can offer them two or three. And just by virtue of the fact that I can choose between those two or three, I feel like I have some autonomy. So uh, if there's one choice, you know, I might say, I don't know, you know, do I or do I not want this? Maybe I'll do some research. Maybe I'll ask around. I'll sleep on it. And a lot of times I don't get around to doing that. If there are two options in front of me, the question is no longer do I or do I not want this? The question is, which of these two do I want? And I'm much more likely to make a buying decision in the moment. Um, there's some research that shows providing options can actually quadruple the likelihood that someone will make a buying decision in the moment. That came out of the University of uh, Tulane. Um, so it's really interesting. So, so social proof, the reason why, autonomy bias, these are just three examples of these behavioral science principles that, um, that really kind of trigger automatic responses in people.